Welcome back to the Brew Bowl. You're watching Cabal Vision with Wilhelm Bullsbane. It's time to return to Blood Bowl 7 tonight with the start of round 5 of the Brew Bowl, proudly sponsored by Bugman's Ultralight. I'd like to take a moment to address the unprofessional nature of my conduct during last round's games. I understand that I reacted poorly to some bad career news, but I'd like to assure the fans that I have identified a way to deal with my issues and they won't impact my commentary for the remainder of this tournament. So, getting on to tonight's game, you can look forward to watching the Black Iron Slavers take on the Talabaklan Griffins. Both sides have recently suffered player loss due to either the NAF draft or temporary injury, so tonight could be a battle of weak linemen. The Griffins do have a passing game with thrower Oswald Clippell holding the season record for most converted passes, but for some reason Nuffle always seems to bless the Slavers with sunny weather that could throw off the Griffins' passing game. As always, I've managed to lock down one of the owners for tonight's game, and I'd like to once again welcome Reince Barrowrider into the studio. Now, Reince. Hello. I don't think that the fans will soon forget the blow-up in the studio between yourself and Death River Reaver's owner Bungo Quickfoot. There was a lot of talking going on, and I heard a number of accusations being thrown around, including things like poisoning and murder. I'd like to give you a chance tonight to say your piece uninterrupted, though keep in mind I will give Bungo the same chance next time he and I catch up. I feel like it's your job, Wilhelm, to hype these up. I don't feel like it was a blow-up. I feel like Bungo had a lot to say negatively. I don't... Uh... It, the people I represent don't have a lot of strong feelings except that of uh, gratitude and paternity towards the Black Orcs. If anything, I would say our rivals are a team that is suffering many of the same problems that we are, the uh, the Mountaineers. I see. Oh, the Dwarf team. Sorry, the Dwarf team. I forget oh, which the, the, ha the Hammers. The Hammers. Yes. The Hammers yeah. are our only rivals. Are the only ones who match our our skill level, if only because everyone else is so clearly above or below us. Okay, okay. So let's put the reviews in the past then and focus on tonight's game against the Griffins. Mm -hmm. I'd actually was... like to focus on you, Wilhelm. Yes. You're having trouble getting out of your contract. But let me ask you this. What's more important, getting paid to play in sevens or playing in sevens? Because I know a guy who could hit you over the back of the head and ensure that you disappear into the seedy underworld once more as a enslaved player. Rest assured, Rince, I have come up with a way to sort out my issue. Of course. Yeah. That sounds so ominous. <laughs> All right. Now, look, some are saying the Slavers have unlocked the speed force. Your Bull Centaur Blitzers have been crucial to getting you some running touchdowns, and last, game mercenary, last game's mercenary player Diamond gave you a ball carrier the Blackhawks just couldn't tie down. Tonight, however, your team will be taking the field with no Blue Bull Centaurs after Tower was signed to the Scarfield Scavengers. And although you've bought another mercenary, you've gone for a slow, heavy hitter. Are you making do with what you have, or is this some strategy to throw off your opponent by swapping out the playbook? No, we're making do with what we have. We see no reason... Uh, we were really hoping to negotiate a lower price with uh, Diamond, but uh, the unions, who wants to deal with them? I mean, what a hassle. Obviously, everyone should just pledge eternal fealty to you through the bindings of irons, as, again, my uh, uh, patrons have uh, informed me that I should be saying something along these lines. But... If you aren't enslaved, you are, of course, being paid through the unions that uh, Nuffle oversees. And, you know, in that regard, I have to say, this is going to be a rough match for us. We don't, we no longer have a runner. We are quite low on uh, strong, fast players. Our entire team strategy is shifting for the second time uh it's just every match seems to be forcing us to become slower and less powerful we have brought in laser who's our orc ringer that we're hoping will get us the heavy hits we need to seal the deal against the nobility uh the real only advantage we have over the nobility is our our armor rating 
and the fact that we can at least barely match them in strength. Um, as I'm sure the audience is aware, the humans can outthrow us and outcatch us, and we no longer have the speed to dodge them. So this is going to be a match that is decidedly against us. We are in the back foot. We're the underdog, but we're used to that because, well, we're the good guys. Everybody loves an underdog. It's true. And let's be honest, your opponents are languishing near the bottom of the table. Uh, and tonight is really probably their last chance to keep their playoff dreams alive. And I want to note too, because next game you'll be playing against the, the Drakes, where you'll probably have a lot more funds to hire and some players like Diamond. But the Drakes playbook is very similar to the Griffins. They both have a pair of hard-hitting blitzes. They both have an effective passing game, although the Griffins are much slower. Could tonight be an opportunity for your team to practice against these sort of tactics before taking on the Wood Elves next round? Absolutely not. Our intentions with the Wood Elves are to pummel them into the floor and put them in a body bag. All right. Now, we saw last week that you brought Chaos Dwarves along for the first time with Tank and Rebel joining your team roster. Rebel, Let unfortunately... Just, I just need to in interrupt here. It should be noted that Bull Centaurs are full Chaos Dwarves. They are the most honored among the Chaos Dwarves who have been reformed, still bearing a Chaos Dwarf brain, torso, and soul, simply given a form more worthy of the Beneficent God, Dominator of Fire, Hashhead. I don't know where all of this assumption that we don't have any Chaos Dwarves comes from, because we've always had Chaos Dwarves. It's just that everyone else is too racist to deal with it. That said, if you are talking about those who maintain a dwarfly lower body stature, yes, Tank and Rebel have joined us. All right. And I apologize for uh, misinterpreting your culture. But Rebel did end up in the medical tent last game, but Tank played the whole game through. Now you've got these two on your team. I just want to ask you, what do you think? We had been hoping to bring Tank and Rebel and several others along for a while. They are, I wouldn't say that they are a massive upgrade over the Hobgoblin allies that we have, but the reason that Tank and Rebel were brought in at this specific moment is that uh, their skill will allow them to slow down the sneaky, slippery human ball throwers the upcoming elven ball throwers there are people who need to be uh kept in the so-called tackle zone and tank and rebel are the ones here to do that the, the rest of our team was not capable of it it is a sacrifice to accept their slower speed it has now chained the entire team to a different strategy uh but it should be noted we're the Black Iron Slavers. We can deal with the changing market conditions. Sure. Now, there is something I've been asking many to ask you for quite a while. With four games under your belt, people have definitely noticed your team's elaborate pre-game ritual, which involves some sort of war dance. Is this performance cultural? Is it a, is a psychological ploy to intimidate your opponent? I think we've been fairly straightforward about it. This dance is a prayer on my part to Nuffle and on my player's part to Hash Hut in order to bring about uh, favorable weather conditions for, for this team. I pray for the light of the sun and my team, they pray for the sky filled with fire raining down on their enemies. And normally we get like halfway, you know, we get like halfway between those. As I said, it, it, someone is answering your call. Although in the last couple of games, it's only been temporary. All right, Prince, I want to get down to the field and watch the game. But before that, is there anything else that you'd like to add while you have the attention of our audience? Yeah, I want to address the fact that literally no one has talked about how my opponent owner last match, Bungo is his name, uh, killed a priest of Nuffle in this very studio Nothing was done about it, and his body was taken outside and fed to squigs? There's something seriously wrong here. I feel that Bungo's performance last night probably suffered due to blaspheming against Nuffle, and until something is done about it, Wilhelm, I think that this studio may in fact be cursed. 
Only adherents of Nuffle like me may be able to pass through it. Let's just take a moment to pray to both 7 and 11. Very well. I noticed you weren't praying, and I, that I, doesn't surprise I me. I gave you nearly seven seconds of silence. I appreciate that. All right. Well, sports fans, it's time for us to head down to the pitch. I suspect tonight's game could be could surprise you on many levels. We've got two teams desperate to secure their second win, and I think there's a very good chance we could see some real violence tonight. Grab your Bugman's Ultralight, grab some snacks, and let's go watch some Blood Bowl. <laughs> every time, every time. <laughs> All right, we're on the pitch. Uh, so let's start off with your roles then. Uh, you've got a corporate role first up. Okay, okay. Seven, is this, your, this is not your minus one, is it? Uh, corporate is my minus one. It is, okay. How unfortunate. It is, yes. So it's potentially minus 10,000 winnings. Uh, we'll go over to your management. Okay. Which is not my plus one either. That's right. No, so you can hire one player straight away after the game if necessary. Uh, on to promotion. The promotion is no change. Whatever your luck was for the last two games seems to have played you this game. And well, training. I'll take sevens, honestly. Oh, okay. So, um, we need to pick one of your players to give loan to. Well, I have to say, it's going to be Blaze again, and he's going on the bench. <laughs> right, let me just update him. And you should be able to right click him and uh, update his base info to give him the, the icon. That's storm. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Uh, so, oh, so he's probably being pushed to the bench. Didn't take long. Um, all right. So we will go to the fan factor roll. You can roll first because you're the home team. D3. The D3. The D3. Uh, bad roll over. That was a bad rollover. From a one to a one. Yep. All right. And for the Griffins, two. We got four. All right. Roll me a D six for the weather. And I'll roll one at all, and we'll see what you change it to. It's a four. I get a six, which is ten, which would be I push it very sunny. Yeah, you can. One more high, you couldn't, but uh, you can. All right. Um, and then I will flip the coin. Would you like to call heads or tails? I will call heads. Heads. That is heads. Would you like to kick or receive? We will kick. Kick. Okay. I prefer to receive in the second half, as always. Set up. Let's see what you have. It's so rough. No longer happen. <laughs> the full centaur to anchor your front line. Uh, and the the kick skill because oh, it yes. allowed me to kick very far out to the edge without having to do any calculations in any regards to accidentally rolling very high. I mean, the the safest spots are either there. Oh, what is it? there or on where the team is because they're only a six in two directions will deviate you off in those two spots all right uh i'm gonna go there and these are definitely world of warcraft models for they are sure. definitely world of warcraft models <laughs> it has never been more obvious to me than the human team right here yeah all right. One hundred percent. Where would you like to kick that ball? I'm gonna drop it in front of your ogre, Ergo. Okay. DV8 roll. So it's gonna go three to one. So it's gonna go one, two, three, and two d six for the kickoff. Well, I am stronger on my left side, so seven brilliant coaching. So for you, d six plus zero. That's three, me D six plus two. 
That's four, so I do get a re-roll for this half only. I don't know why I ever purchased a re-roll. Uh, my opponents have consistently won brilliant coaching or halfling chef or... All right, and a D8 to see where the ball bounces to. Of course. So it goes to five, so it lands there in front of Dietka. All right, my first turn. Um, we go one, two, and one, two. Uh, I am going to declare a pass with... Actually, no, before I do that, I'm going to... Stuff a bit more. You know, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I'm going to attempt to move my ogre. Yeah, he's fine. So he will go two, three. And I'm declaring a pass with Oswald. One, two, three to pick up. And he flip drops the ball. So I may as well use that reroll now. Grab the ball. Okay, he has the ball. Uh, three, four, five, six. It's a quick pass to the Blitzer. Three plus for the pass. Is that including? Uh, four, four plus for the pass, thank you. Wow. And then a three plus to catch it. He's got it, okay. So, and then he'll just move up to there. And that's my turnover. Uh, does the passing thing... Oh, sorry. In you know what? I didn't... Gunther. Uh, no, I need to throw the pass. Okay. But I should have actually rolled my my special event at the start of the turn, which I didn't get. So, start of your turn, roll just roll a d6 for the special event. I see. Okay, well, it goes off great. straight away. So, first off, the referee is, is uh, KO'd for the rest of this half. So, there'll be fouls cannot be resolved in the send-off. And since you triggered it, uh, Wilhelm Wolfsbane enters the field on the sideline closest to one of your players. So there's those two are so it's either one to three will be Storm, four to six it'll be Viper. And then I'll explain how Great. Wilhelm's going to work. Great. Okay, so he enters the field here. So Wilhelm, for all intents and purposes, on any player's turn, counts as an opposing player. So he gives tackle zone, he gives assists. Um, he's it, treat him like an like when it's when it's your turn, he's effectively on my side. When it's my turn, he's on your side. At the end of each player's turn, whether it's whether they end the turn or it is a um a, a turnover because of a failure, you roll a dice on a two plus. Wilhelm will blitz the closest player to him, move straight towards him and perform a blitz action. If there's already a player next to him on the ground, he will foul them. Uh, but he's just trying to rack up rack up as many casualties as possible. So he can be he can be a blit, he can be attacked himself as normal. Um, he can be injured, etc. He has four strength, three agility. Uh, he has claws, frenzy, regeneration, block, and dodge, and nine plus armor. So the idea here is to make sure that at the end of your turn, the opposing team is closer to him than any of your team members, so that he blitzes them instead of you. Well, James, somehow I just feel like that's not going to happen. <laughs> It would be extremely difficult and would require me to give up any attempt at blocking the ball. Uh, this is very unfortunate. What is the... So I can just look this up. What the passing of your blitzer is, is a four. Probably you can just have him hand off, though, huh? And the Blitz is going to be the one that's... He's the one that usually tries to run it in. Yeah, he's got Leap too, so he can leap over standing players. Yeah, I recognize that. Which really just made the Chaos Dwarves useless. <laughs> it will only be useful if he leaps and lands in one of their tackle zones on the far side and continues forward. Well, well, well. What a matchup. What a matchup indeed. Well, I think I'm going to start by having Viper and Gemini mark your free runners yep. just to keep them from going anywhere. Uh, 
that's pretty dangerous and that would probably not be a wise move. Um, hmm. Problem is one, two, three. And then if I declare blitz with laser on Oliver, I still end up with two dice. You do, yeah. So you, he'll, he'll have the assist from Wolf, but you've got the high strength and you've got the assist from Tank. So Yes, I want to go that way then. All right, two dice. Down he goes. You can put him Take the pal. there there, or there. I will put him there yep. and I will follow. Okay. Armor roll. Hold on. I don't know if I have to go for it to follow. Uh, well, no, because you... Four, you, now it's four. Four, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, armor dice. Yep. That's enough. Injury. He is stunned. Well, that's not a bad start. Not a bad start. Got somebody marking the ball carrier. And be seven to move in here. That's. It would give me a second mark, but you could just dodge or leap out of it. So that's really not that great. I think what I want to do is find some way to cut off your path of forward momentum by putting as big a tackle zone box out. So if you want, if you had yeah. a person spare, I'd be, I'd be putting them probably there because that yeah. way, anywhere he leaps to, you're going to be marking the leap, the landing space. I was thinking of putting rebel there. Yeah. I just, I'm really trying to talk myself out of it and find a better way to do this. <laughs> um, what is Wilhelm strength? Four. That's four. Jesus. I mean, you could you could send Malibu over there and try and have Storm push him off with one dice. Yeah, I'm really thinking of doing it. I, it's a big waste for me, throwing a one up and losing Wilhelm in this block lane, but him <laughs> fucking with me the rest of the match is real bad, so I will do that. I'll throw one, one die. All right, you push yeah, him I'll off. Push him off. Okay, roll injury. Can I actually injure him? Yep. Like permanently. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. All right. So he's uh, no, you didn't need you didn't need to roll didn't need to roll armor because you automatically uh, automatically armor. Oh well, right. I rolled double six. Yeah. So, so he's, so he's dead. dead. He's dead right now. Okay, James. Yep. I'm sorry. I killed your James Jives. That's that's all right. He's got regenerate. <laughs> he's got regenerate. So. Right. <laughs> is that next match or is that uh, no, next uh, round? After the drive, he, he regenerates after the drive. Jesus Christ! What is it going to take to put this guy down? <laughs> that, uh, I mean, that's all my activation. Okay, so. uh, that's a that's a Arnak. So casualties. Uh, so okay, I'm going to mark that as a casualty uh, for your team. Um, okay. So, as in turn one. All right, that's your turn. All right. Um, all right. I'm going to declare a blitz with Ergo. So I'm gonna to have to do bonehead first. No reason not to. Okay, one, two, three, and he's blitzing uh, your uh, ringer laser, I believe it is. Yep. Okay, got him. So I put him there and follow up. Uh, even with mighty blow, that's not enough. All right. Um, then I'm gonna go. Uh, with Gunther, one, two, three, four into three plus dodge. Oh, uh, I've got a real test. Down he goes. Uh, roll a armor roll. Yikes. This is very unfortunate for you. No. And then so roll a d8 to see where the ball goes. Seven. So the ball lands in front of him. And this is your turn. Uh, I'm knocked down so I can stand up now? You can, yep. 
laser. Okay. Let me think about whether I want to commit to a blitz or not. It'll be a one die. Ergo is Mark, so it's now uh, he would be five, so it would just be a one die. Yeah. Jesus, that's so risky standing <laughs> up, up now. <laughs> you know, typically you'd want to stand stuff up as early as possible, but oh god. Uh, okay, oh, wait. The referee's okay, dead, so if we foul, we can't get through. You can't, you can't get sent off. That's right. Yes. Okay, so maybe we want to start thinking about either picking up the ball or fouling the shit out of this blitzer and killing him. Um, so many choices, all of them bad. Uh, I'll be honest. I feel like attempting to get control of the ball is where it's at. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna. I'll pick up the ball. To pick the okay, ball it's three up. plus. Yeah. Got it. Jesus, that was so stressful for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have one more step. It's time to start crafting a cage. There's no way to get away from Gunther Joss except to go backwards. I don't like that. Instead, I think we're going to figure out a way to foul the fuck out of him. Uh... Do I have to declare the foul now? You should, yeah, it's, you declare, it's an action, so you declare it when you start moving the player. And if I fail at it, does my turn end? No, it does not. Foul, and, okay. a, a foul only causes you to turn into it if you, if you get sent off, which you can't get sent off because the, the referee's KO'd. Uh, I'm gonna stop here. Then that's the best I can do, and I'll foul. Okay, yeah, it'd be two d six, and you get to add one because you got one assist. Okay, that's enough. That's make make an injury roll. He is KO'd. Well, I finally get to play the villainous character I've always wanted. <laughs> What's the stats on this wolf pass? Three strength. Three strength, but I'm also three strength, so that's not the best. Yeah, the thing is you've got block, so you knock him down on, on three results. Yeah, I mean, that is good. But I really don't want this ogre pushing my mercenary off the field. You can't, because you in the space the mercenary is in, you have to push from directly... You have to be staying there to do it, I or see. get somebody all the way around to block this spot there. Um. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, so that leaves him a little bit safer. So it is a one die block to throw up against Wolf yeah. Boss. Then, yeah, I will declare that blitz. Then, okay, one die. Ah, I will reroll. <laughs> okay. Using my reroll token. Okay, Danny goes. Where do you want to put I him? I will not follow up. There, there, or there. I will move him into the ogre's backfield. Okay. Armor roll? Yeah. Can we do it a third time? No. Didn't seem likely. I will activate laser to stand up. Yep. Uh... Really, I'm unthrilled with throwing hands against one die blocks that could end with me just getting knocked down. Yeah, without the block skill, whenever you throw a single die, it's a one third chance you go down at some capacity. Yeah, I mean, it's not great, and this is not really a good cage, but this spot is protected from from some level of interference. I mean, the bigger problem is this ogre getting free and just beating the shit out of my dude. I think I'm just going to have to let what I have here stand rather than risk low-quality blocks. Okay. Just getting my hands on the ball in turn two is exceptional. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to start by um, standing up. Oliver, do you need three? to check for if Wilhelm? No, because he, he's he's he's, he's dead, dead until he regenerates. Oh, until the next tribe. Well, yeah. suck it, Wilhelm. I hate you. Okay, uh, oh, you're cool man. 
so now Ergo is going to block Tank mm -hmm. uh, with two dice. Uh, so Bonehead first. He does. Unfortunate for me. So he's going to push Tank to there, and he's going to follow up. Um, all right. Next, we're going to um, stand up Wolf Hoss and move him to there. Then we're going to move Oswald into here. And we're going to declare a blitz with Deetka on Gemini. A blitz. Yep. Very well. There he goes. I'll follow up. Oh. Not a chance. And then he'll just move to there. And, um, you know what? I'm just going to throw a single dice block with um, Yikes. this guy. Push. I'll push you. Oh, that's me. Push you to there, and I will follow up. And that's my turnover. Wow, that was a scary series of moves. Uh, well, well, well. I do have all kinds of problems now, don't I? Do the Seven Nation Army there? Yeah. Hopefully not enough to get copyright strike on this video. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to start by standing up Gemini. Yep. Because I might need him there later. I'm going to plant Storm here. Yep. And then I'm going to throw a block with laser on Ergo. Okay, it'll be one dice. Not two dice. No, because you... tank and storm are both marking him. Uh no, because he's also you. You being assisted by he's being assisted by Oliver in this case. Uh, so yeah. I dropped to three. Well, effectively, it, it it it'll be it's six on six. Five five oh six six. Yeah. <sighs> Jesus, but I can't risk having laser die from being bounced out of the arena right here. I'm still holding on to the ball. I'll take it. Whatever. And he goes. You can Jesus, put him there or there. Um, that's a good question, actually. I'll put it here just because I want to move as much to your side of the board as possible. Follow up? Um, hmm, do I want to follow up is a good question. I think mm, yes. I want to get off the wall, even if it means remaining in contact with the ogre, which okay. is, I'm not about that, but that's where I'm at right now. Uh, so, uh, I'm a roll. Yes, indeed, an armor roll. Not enough. Okay. I can get tank to assist rebel and throwing down wolf hoss. One, two, three, four. Yeah. That may be it. That may be the plan here. Uh, Rebel is going to Two dice. go in on Wolf. Push there push or there. Push him straight back. Yep. You can't follow because he's got Fend. I don't want to follow, so yep. that works for me. Uh, I will throw a block on Dieter. Yep. With whom? Gemini or with um, with the ball carrier? It's a be... great question. I two two I dice either way. The ball carrier. Oh, it's two dice if I throw with Gemini. It's, it's with, with, in either. Way, oh, uh, actually, yeah, no, it would only only be two dice with Gemini. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, with Gemini. Yeah. If, if Gemini throws okay. the block, it's two dice. Yeah. Yes, I will throw a Gemini then to reestablish oh. the cage. Down he goes. That. There or there. I will throw him directly in front of your. Okay. Door. You can't move. He's got Finn. You can't follow up. Ah, fuck. Uh, so it'd be uh, armor roll. I forgot. You guys all have these pain in the ass abilities. No. Um. When you change, go two dice with uh, Viper on. Yeah, I'm thinking about whether I want to do that or not. I. Will... The other option would other option would be to blitz with Malibu. Come through the middle, blitz is a brand, knock him down, and then have Viper activate and come over and mark the thrower. That's scary. I was really just thinking of 
reestablishing the cage by moving the ball carrier there. Our backfield is kind of clear right now. Yep. I will admit your thrower being loose is a pain in the ass. You got three turns to make eleven squares, so you've got the time. You can be yeah. conservative or you can be um daring, it's up to you. Normally I'm I think I'm pretty daring. I've pulled off some real bullshit plays, but I don't think this team is capable of that anymore. So I will in fact Return Malibu to his place in the cage and throw Viper on his brand. Okay, two dice. Two dice. And he goes. So you could push him there, which at least keeps him marked if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, could. sure. Okay, well, these guys down. He can't follow still because he's got Fen, but you can roll armor on yeah. him. That's through through armor. So roll uh, injury. He is badly hurt. He's out the rest of the game. Do you have any reserve players? I have no reserve players, no. So you're down two now. Huh? Yeah. So that's a that um work for me. That works for me. As by Viper. In uh, that is a I think I've activated everyone, so that's my turn. Okay. We have some weird marks on you. Any blitz that you do is gonna require some interesting stuff, I think. I'm right. trying my best with this incredibly bad hand. Okay, I'm going to stand up Deepka. He's activated. I am going to declare a blitz with Ergo on laser. So, okay. bonehead first. He's fine. So he stands up and it'll be a two dice because we've each got one assist. Mm -hmm. So, knock you down and I will follow up. I'm a roll. Not enough, even with Mighty Blow. Then we go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to go one, two, and one, two, three, four. And I will turn over to you. Not making it easy, huh? And once again, you could look at Malibu coming through the middle, blitzing the throw out of the way, and then getting a running lane. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. Uh, do, when, if I blitz in that way, yep. does it matter that I'm leaving this tackle no. zone for Wolf? No, you don't, okay. you, you, you don't have to dodge to, to follow up. Okay. That is a attractive method of doing this it's so risky though it's so incredibly risky what's my two dice, dice? Be two dice two on him. dice yeah god damn why do you keep tempting me with these <laughs> terrible <laughs> plays you know what we'll do it i've got an established cage if i lose control of the ball at least i'll have something over here to go with it i'll declare a blitz okay two dice onto oswald Oh my god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like every the, time the only, re the only result, one in thirty six chance, it's the only result I'll put if you had both down as well, but I guess that's still uh all right, no worries. Uh D H C where the ball goes. I need to roll for armor as well. So it's gonna go to eight, so it's gonna oh, land it's gonna land behind yeah. you anyway. Okay. And um I'll roll against your armor. Uh not enough. Okay. My turn five. Um, all right. Uh, so we're going to go one. Oh, DTS is being slow on me again. One, two, three, four. We are going to. Uh, 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 actually, uh, where was I? I was back there, wasn't I? Four, five, six. I can't remember if I was 16. Okay. Going to uh, block with. Um, Wolf on Gemini. Not bullets, you're blocking. No, just blocking. Push. All right, uh, I'm going to declare a block with Ergo on Storm. So Bonehead. Uh, he's Dice. boneheaded. 
So, that, so just say when they're boneheaded, they don't they don't have a tackle set either. So that they're effectively you can move around them without them hitting you too. Interesting. That really frees me up. All right, I'm going to declare a blitz with Oswald on Viper single dice. What a what a great time to do that! Incredible. And now so, I have nothing marking the ball. Do I get three armor? I do not. So that's one, two. Pick up the ball in a three plus. Yep, he's got it. Three, four, five, six. And I will turn over there because I've moved to my players. What a real gazpacho I got going on here. Uh, I can see, I, I can see definitely a one die splits with no problem on the ball carrier, but. I'm going to stand blazer up and then move one space. Yep, you can do that. Move him down here. Actually, you could you could definitely get you could definitely get storm one two three yeah. four five six. I there. was expecting to get storm over here. It was a question of if I could get anyone else. You could then stand up Malibu, block Wolf with Gemini with two dice, and then you could um, blitz with Viper. Actually, um, one two three four five six. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a a go for a blitz, but you can get two dice on the ball carrier. Hmm. My agility is three, and I don't have a reroll on it. But you don't need to dodge because you stand up Malibu first, which gives right. But it's the, the go for it though. The go for it. Oh, no, the go for it's always a two plus. Regardless, it's oh, a better okay. agility. Yeah. Well, I've seen my luck so far, James. It's as uh. Well, Mark. Been a lot of double ones. Marking with storm first, regardless. That way, even if you fail the blitz, you still mark. I agree. So you're thinking stand up Malibu and go for the mark him from that square there at least. So that way, if you okay. push him, you can put keep him in the tackle zone. Yep. Then you got a two dice with Gemini on Wolf. Sure. I agree with most of this so far. So all Terrible. you do is push him. Absolutely. That's awful. fine. You can push him back to here. And I then he's, will push him back to there. You can't follow up because he's got Fend. But Jesus now, so now you can blitz with Viper. Okay. I guess I pretty much have to at this point. Yep. I'll do it. Do it from. Do it from there. So that we can... Is there some reason that that would be better than here? Only because you can push him into this space here, at least. But I mean, I guess I, uh, regardless, it's going. He's going to only be a, a three plus dodge anyway. Yeah, but sure. Okay. All right. All right. Well, there we go. Two dice. Not a win. Oh, I saw you. Sorry. Yeah, for, go yeah. for it. For right. Yeah. Sure. Go for it. Okay. You got the go for it. Then a two dice block. Okay. Jesus Christ! I'll take both. Take down. take both down. Okay. You both go down. You roll armor on me first. Uh, yeah, it's through my armor. So roll. Oh no, no, sorry, it's nine plus, nine plus. So he's not. Wow. Okay. I roll armor on you. That is not through armor. And then roll a d8. See where the ball goes. Right into Storm's hands. Four is almost right there. Not good enough. I have a weird blocking stance out here still. Well, that's my turn, James. Okay. You talk me into a risky strategy I may have already used anyway. Hello. I guess as long as I can keep you from scoring in the first half. Yeah, okay. Um, well, I'm going to start with declaring that Yoga's going to block laser. So can he get out of Bonehead? He can. So he just pushes him. Amazing. That works for me to some extent. All right. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna have to try some unnatural shit to try and get a score off here. So standing up for three. Four is a three plus dodge out. He's fine. Five, six, go for it. It'll be a two plus. Uh, Danny falls. Uh, roll armor. Two, six. Ah, uh, that's through. Roll injury. He is KO'd. And that's into my turn. So your turn six. What the fuck is happening here? Uh, okay. You, you can't score, but you can throw some more injuries out there for sure. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. Can you get your dwarf in a position they can, you can do, get a push off? One, two, three, four. You have to go for it. If you went, 
if you got one of the dwarves to go to there and then go for it into there, that would give you. Oh no, sorry, yeah, so I'm thinking of pushing you off. Sorry, no, you're thinking of now. You can't. Yeah, no. You can't, you, so you can't get that I didn't know what you were talking about, man. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, I am thinking of throwing hands on. So, sorry, is it? This is my final turn, right? Yeah. So I don't have to worry about you pushing me off. I only need to worry about putting damage on your guy. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so I can ignore the ogre entirely, which frees me up to do some other shit. Yep. If I throw tank here, be two dice with rebel on rebel. Deep go. Yes, and I can start rolling down that line. Yeah, I will do that. I would love to disable or remove some more of your yeah, players. Yeah, I'll do the pow. Yes, you go there with it directly back. All right, uh, I can't follow up. No, I'm a roll. Uh, not enough there, an eight plus, I believe. Okay. Yep. But you could also that bring Gemini around and then have Malibu get a two dice as well. Uh. Yeah, and I'll position it in such a way that I'll still be able to get in a. Uh, blitz. that won't be a. So, so now Malibu will only get one dice because he'll be marked by Oliver if he stands there. You'd have to, you have to get around to there. Move around here. Yeah. That's unfortunate. All right, so I'm not going to be able to negotiate. Uh, the last bullet's being super good, but yeah. All right, we'll throw Two a dice. wolf again. Uh, you know what? Let's take both down. Why not? Okay. What are uh, we going to do? All right, I'm a roll. Nope. Uh, and uh, no, on a on a retainer, that's eight plus. That's that's through. Roll injury. Are you at a nine? No, that's on that's on the thrower. Okay. But so he's stunned, and me on you. Meaningless. Yeah. This no, time. I'm the one at risk. Seven, not enough. Uh, so that's the end of the turn. That is the end of the half. So let's bring the markers back. Let's yeah. uh reset my players. Okay, I have two guys I need to roll to wake up on a four plus. So I'll start with my blitzer is awake and my thrower is awake and uh, Wilhelm regenerates. So he's no longer dead, uh, but once again, the referee is awake. So we're rolling each turn to see whether or not he returns to the field as before. So I am kicking to you in the second half. Indeed. All right, that's my setup done. Blitzer on your right, my left, huh? Interesting. I have a one player advantage. The real question is who's going to carry the fucking ball? Not any of these idiots. Uh, I mean, pub goblins are actually not that bad a ball carrier, to be honest. But they're not that good. Yeah. I've had some really good <laughs> ball carriers. Let's be real here. Yeah, I've had some great ones. I mean, that that double uh, skull. I, I, without a double skull, you you would have had a clear lane to try and score there. I think. I'm throwing double skulls all day, brother. It's the only thing I'm good at. I'm gonna actually put it here, and I'm ready to receive. Okay, uh, I will kick the ball. To the safe spot. Oh, you don't want to kick it directly in front of you, like fucking <laughs> foot uh, hammer. It can still happen. Uh, it's gonna dog it's, shit. It's gonna. Go, I know it's a seven. That's actually gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And the kickoff is a nine, which is a quick snap. So one d three plus one of your players get to move one square for free. One d three plus three of your players. Sorry. 1d3 plus 3 of my yep. players. So six players get to move one space for free. But it can't be one person six times? No. Okay. Well, I definitely want to move Storm further back to pick you, up the ball. You can get nine women pregnant, but you can't have a baby in a month. That's what I my don't know what to do with that, James. That's, that's, what, my, that's, uh, what, that's, what, that's what my Pendragon character thought. Yeah. That's five. We'll go for a six. Gives us some flexibility. All right, and the ball there. bounces to eight. So in, back into the end zone. Yeah. And it's your turn one.
all right, you're the analysis guy. Is it better for me to set up some kind of faux cage, or is it better for me to go for the ball first? You've got a re-roll in hand, so knowing where the ball's going to... Like, if, if you fumble the ball, I've still got to come to you. Um, so with a re-roll in hand, I would probably go for the ball first, but once again, I'm not an expert. I'm just paid a bit more. Four. Three plus. Yeah. He's got it. Five, six. We've got a pretty good net here. So my ogre can only move five, which means in your current position, I've got to go for it to blitz with the ogre. Yeah. I'm thinking about tightening my formation to force marks everywhere. I feel like it would be very difficult and weird for you to slip past me right now. And if I just create a solid line along my front, I can make a cage out of it at a later date, unless you really want to get up and beef with me. So I'll just do some really dumb shit that'll let you try to push past me. But there you go. That's some battle strategy. Turnover. All right. Well, I will... Take the what's an offer, I guess, and go yeah, right one, along that two, outside. three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm going to go for it one to there, or two plus. All right, then we go five. Um, declaring actually, before I do that, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, five, and they declare a blitz with the ogre on two laser. Two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, so going ahead first. And he's got um, an assist. Uh, he won't need an assist because he, because uh, yeah, your assist is your assist is marked by Dika. Oh, so. I see. You well, know, I really yeah. tried my best to keep you from being able to do this. And then uh, go for it. He's fine. Two dice. And you go you there and follow up. Uh, nine ten is enough with actually you're a nine plus aren't you so i don't even need to use i can use mighty blow on the injury he is seriously hurt he's off for the rest of the game amazing so that's a ogre casualty he's number number seven okay uh oh sorry and we know what we didn't do could you just roll a d6 for me please Okay, now I roll a d6. Oh, okay, so I am now turning over to you. So roll a d6 at the start of your turn two to see if uh, Wolfgang comes back. No, he does not. Wolfsbane, sorry. Uh, so it is uh, your turn. Well, this makes everything a lot more difficult. I feel like we really should be demolishing Steve Carter <laughs> in revenge. Uh... Do I, mean, I want to leave the ogre unmarked? Anyone he touches, he's you now have a very serious advantage in strength over me. I need lots of marks in order to deal with him. Him running free is not great. Um, I think I will just do Viper on Dikar. He does. Just... Push, and you could push him to there. And then, and then it'd, be, it'd, be a one die, it'd be a one dice block, though, there. Or we put him there or there, but you can't follow no, up. No, I want a free rebel up to go on Gunther, so I will throw him back yeah. here. Cool. Uh, let me think about this. Does Joss, Gunther Joss have Fen? No, he does not. Okay. How can I reestablish a cage? So I move Storm here, and then I have Rebel move here and block. Yep, you can then push him. I can push Joss here or here. Yep, or here. And then, uh, yeah, follow. Yeah, and get him out of the way. Yep. And that will give me some tackle zone against Ergo, who's a move five. Move five, yep. I mean, getting away from him is going to be extremely difficult now. I'm just not in a great position. But he can't dodge. So the, the idea with ogres is pick a player to feed them each turn. They're going to smack that player, but they can't move away. They have to basically 
waste their um their efforts he that that uses it's player. just risking my ball carrier versus your blitzer yeah. which i'm not very thrilled to do but it's a crazy plan so let's go ahead and do it because that's the kind of plans i've right. been working with lately two dice got him do you want to push him to the sideline or one up i want to push him one up actually get him out of contact with me so you can just following stand up, up. Uh, mm, mm, I mean, you should, otherwise you can just stand up and yeah, move down and blitz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've explained to me that Ergo can't dodge out, which yeah. was my primary concern, so yes. Okay, uh, I'm a roll. Really love to kill this guy. Not enough. No. What are my options over here? If Malibu goes on Wolf Haas... He gets two dice because tank? No, because he's marked by Oliver. Either, either person, you know, either opponent will be one dice. One die. Right? Yeah. I mean, if the, the, what you could do is you could do a single dice with tank because he's got blocks, so it means it's a high, there's only one thing that knocks you down. Mm. But then you've certainly got one dice with Malibu. Otherwise, you have Malibu block, and if he manages to push Oliver back, at least you think got a two dice on Wolf. No, I'll start with tank. Yep. One dice. One die. Okay, he goes down. You don't because you've got block. Perfect. So, roll a uh, uh, armor. Yeah. That's enough. Injury. He is stunned. That buys me some space. Uh, I will then throw Malibu at Oliver. Yep. One die. Really hoping on a prayer here. Well, both there. Okay. I guess I'll take that. Not much I can do. All right. Uh, you roll armor on me. Uh, that's enough. Injury. Yeah. I'd hope it's well as enough. Uh, he's stunned. Do armor on you. That is enough as well. And you are stunned too. All right. Well, I've got some small amount of breathing room for a minute. All right. What do I do here? Um, you got to start with your wolf. Thing. Yes, I do. I need to roll. So this is my turn two. Yes, he turns up. So my player closest to the sideline is Gunther. So one to three, he turns up here. Forty-six, he turns up there. Put your love for you to one to three that then. There he is. Amazing, okay. incredible. <laughs> Amazing and incredible. All right, so I will stand up him. That's his activation done. Better fucking run. <laughs> um, I will uh, declare a block with Ergo on Gemini. So Bonehead first off. It's good. He will knock Gemini to there and he will not follow up. I'm going to roll with Mighty Blow. Uh, that's enough with Mighty Blow. So injury is seriously hurt. So Gemini is out for a game. So 03 is missing. I better go back and hire a mercenary for the rest of the league. And another casualty. Seven in turn. One turn. Eight. All right. Uh, then I'm going to blitz with Deetka. One, two, three, four, five, six. And go for it. He's fine for a single dice blitz. And push him into there. I will follow up. Uh, break armor. It does not. The ball goes six, which is uh, to there. Okay, and then I'll move one, two, three, four, five, six. And that'll be, I'm going to turn over there, which means these two roll over. But now we activate Wolfgang. So Wilhelm. So he has got one, two, three standing targets and one prone target. So I'm just going to roll a D8. So one, two, he does Gunther. Three, four, he does Rebel. Five, six, he does Deetgar. Seven, eight, he fouls Storm. So one, two, three, four, five, he smacks Deetgar. So, uh, 
Pika has one assist against him. So it'll just be one dice. Oh, he knocks himself down. Uh, does Pika beat his armor? No, he does not. All right. Uh, your turn. Amazing. Incredible. What do we even do here? I have a loose dwarf that I think I'm going to have to feed to Ergo. I'll move him there to keep your guys marked. Somebody marked. Uh, If I stand Storm up, what's my rebel to... It'll still be, it'll still be one dice because Beaker will have the assist from Gunther. Mm -hmm, yeah. And what about the other way around? What if I blitz with storm on? Deep be one, one dice because um, rebels still marked. one die, huh? Yeah. But it would be better to do it with rebel either way because of block. That's right. So I will stand up and declare blitz because I think I'm gonna just need a dwarf to get on the fucking ball. Okay, so it'd be one dice. <clears throat> Amazing, incredible. Push back. So you can push him there, onto the ball, or over there. Uh, I'll wall right him, for sure. Okay, you can't follow up, he's got Fend. So if you want to move now, you got to dodge out of Gunther's position. Well, I completely forgot about that. So, not a lot to do there. What's my dodge? Uh, if you dodge, if you, it's a, he's a 4 plus, if you dodge to an open space like there. What if I move into one of his own spaces? Like into like here, for example. Or no, like here and here. There, I'll be five plus because you. Okay. It's yeah. And well, that was a waste of a blitz. Then I'm not like I was going to do much with it anyway. But uh, I guess my boy Viper is going to throw hands on Oswald. Yep, yeah, one dice. Now we both go. Sure, I'll, I'll buy that. Okay, so you roll um, armor on me first. Okay, no, I'll roll armor on you. Uh, seven, no. Uh, on a two plus, uh, Wilhelm activates. He does. So he will stand up and he will block one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's going to block. Uh, he's going to block Gunther. So no assists, two dice. So he knocks him down to there, and he follows up. Does he break his armor? He's got claws, so he does not. Uh, now it's my turn. Um, all right. Going to... I got... I got statistically and probably lucky with Wilhelm, despite him initially screwing me quite badly. <laughs> All right, he will... So Gunther will stand up. That's it, he's done. Uh, Oswald will stand up. One, two, three, four, five, six, and he's going to go for it to there. He's fine. All right, um, I'm going to stand up Wolf Hoss. I stand up Oliver Greer. Three, four, five, six. Ergo is going to block tank. Bonehead first. Are you boneheads? Okay. Uh, okay. Dietka is going to attempt to dodge and pick up the ball. So it's a four plus dodge. He fails. He falls down. Uh, roll armor on him. What a time we're having. What a time. Uh, not enough. The ball will go to eight, which is uh, to here. Jesus. All right. Uh, Wolfgang activates. So uh, uh, Will activates on a two plus. Yep. So one, two, three hits Gunther. Four, five, six hits Rebel. He's going after Rebel. Two dice. Um. He will take the push. Okay. So um, one to three pushes to here. Four, four to six pushes to there. So he pushes to there. Unusual. 
the follow up. Now he's blocking with only one dice now because you got an assist. Oh, so does he have? He's um, got frenzy. Yeah. He goes down. Uh, roll and I'm rolling him. <clears throat> I feel like now's the time to kill him again. No. Unfortunate. All right, your your turn. Hmm. What questionable gifts you have brought me, Grimdark James? What questionable <laughs> gifts you have brought me? I mean, you can uh, get you can get um, Storm back onto the ball unfettered there. I mean, I wonder if you go like you've only got three turns to get the, the the ball quite a distance. I wonder if you try and like stand up Viper and go for a run with him, and then have Storm try and throw the ball in the bright. Throw scene. the ball. <laughs> <laughs> With the weather against us, I think that this might just be a no scoring full round draw. I'm it sorry. Could be, it could be. Um It would be our first new old draw. I will start by standing up Malibu. Yep. And then blocking tank on wolf. Two dice because you don't lose it. Yes. This is the only reason I'm doing this. Jesus. Push. So uh, I yeah. will push him deeper into the zone, yep. and then Tank will remain comfortably where he's at. Yep. Okay. Well. Uh, yikes! 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 What do I do with you, Viper? What do I do with you? Uh. I think I have to get hands on the ball. I can't afford to have you score this close to my own goal. Three plus. You got a reroll when you use my it. Reroll. No worries. He's got it. Okay. okay you so move two. One two. Jesus, where did that <laughs> go? You've made this very difficult, James. You've made this very difficult indeed. Six can get me here. I think you've only moved two so far. So uh, three, four, five, so you can go further. But I don't I mean, I'm gonna end up in a situation where I just have humans mm -hmm. shooting all over me. I'll move here. Just so I'm not in risk of wall riding. Um, I haven't blitzed yet. I have not blitzed. Does Oswald have Fen? No. No, he does not. So my options are foul Dietker or throw a block on Oswald, which will then leave me. Uh, like wolf, wolf, um, will then just destroy me. Um, well, unless you unless you do it as a blitz, then you move further away from from wolf than than Gunther or uh, I Dicker. guess, but I really want to have Viper blitz Gunther off yeah, the map. I thought you might, honest with you. yeah. I think that's what we're going to do now, honestly. Okay. Is we're just going to go ahead and have him blitz him off the map. Yep, so right. he'll die. No. I'll use my coach rule. Coach rule, okay. Don't like that that red keeps coming up. Okay, he's off. Go. So you still, so you were you were there, you were there, weren't you? So yeah. one, two, three, four, five, and bliss off. So that's that's the end of your movement. Okay, so uh roll injury, straight to injury. Uh, straight to injury. He is seriously hurt. He's off the rest of the game and next game. So uh, I stood Malibu up, tank through. Is it worth doing something with Revel? I think I am just going to try fouling Deeker. Okay, so we just two dice because the plus one assist is negated by Oswald. Uh, not enough. That is everyone activated. All right, two plus for um, our friend to do something. He does. He stands up. So one to three, it's Oswald. Four to six, it's Rebel. Of course, it's Rebel. 
what I was dreading. All right, it knocks you down to there. Oh, is that? Ah, uh, they'll get through your armor. Yikes. Uh, only a stun. Only right. a stun. Well, now I have nobody helping the ball carrier out. <laughs> um. All right, I will stand up. Deep go. I will. Um, okay, I'm going to activate Ergo to punch Tank. Uh, he does. Uh, I'll knock you to there. Up. Mighty blow, not enough. All right, uh, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Go for it to there. He's fine. And then we're going to declare a blitz with Oswald. Yeah. So that's a dodge to there to there. Three plus. Uh, two and two dice on him. Uh, we'll knock you to there. Totally destroyed here. I'm a, I'm a defensive team. I'm losing the ball my <laughs> own fucking turn. Through your armor. My own half. Great. Awesome. He is stunned. I have nobody back here to contest this. The ball goes five is back onto Oswald, who will catch it on a four plus. He's got it. So he's moved one, two, three, four, five. That'll be a score. Ah, oh, that's a rough one. I really tried. I tried you did. You tried. You players. tried very hard. I tried <laughs> killing your players. <laughs> tried everything. All right. Um, There's nothing to be done. Gonna bring back my players. No one can wake up. I am kicking to you. All right. Uh, you've got. You can bring a uh, blade out of reserve now. This is your kick formation? Yeah, that's it. Yep. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm ready. Drop the ball onto Storm's head. It's going to go six to one, so it's going to go off the pitch. So I'll roll a. Event 10 is Blitz. So I get to activate 1d3 plus 1 players while the ball's still in the air. I can do one Blitz if I was I can do two players. Um, so we're going to have, we're going to go um, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to declare a Blitz with Ergo. He is boneheaded. Regardless. Okay, so you may choose to give the ball to any player. Mm. A tempting offer you have given me. Uh, I will give it to Storm, I suppose. Okay. All right, start of your turn. Um, roll a d6 to see if uh, our friend Wil Wilfred turns up again on a 4+. plus. On a four he does? Okay, so on 400, I should say. So one to three, he turns up next to Malibu. Four to six, he turns up next to Viper. He turns up next to Malibu. All right, that is your turn five now. Great. I'm going to start by throwing a block Viper on Deedker. He does. Got him. Where do you want to put him? Mm, it's a good question. I want to fuck up your ability to come in sideways, so let's go there. All right, armor roll. No. <clears throat> uh, fend? Oh, he's got fend, yes. Okay, great. Awesome. Amazing. Incredible. You've got a move of six, and you need to cover 13 squares. So you need to basically get the ball forward your full distance this turn. Plus, plus maybe a go for it or, or go for it next turn. 
Yeah, the only chance to score. Get around the ogre while that's happening. Well, the ogre's currently Absolutely. boneheaded, but uh... unfortunate. I mean, yeah, but he's not. <laughs> What's the probability that while I'm exposed, moving next turn, that uh, that will still be the case? I mean, the the simple fact of the matter here is that uh, with no bull centaurs. I have nobody to escort this ball in. It's just a huge risk, no matter what I'm doing. Uh, I mean, so I'll tell you what I would do. Um, two, three, four, five, six. I would get Blaze to go for it to here. I would get Storm to go for it, Blitz on Oswald with two dice. Jesus. And I would try and like dodge out Malibu to come over and mark um, Ergo and just move tank down towards these two guys like you have to, i mean if you want to, if you want to tie it up you need to be daring you've got to move the ball forward as far as you can each turn i want to tie it up you know what james why not let's start with the go for it yeah, so two plus gotta be daring okay go for it blitz yep two plus And that's that's the dream has died. That's it. That's it. Dream side. Um, all right, I'll do an armor roll. I mean, sorry, the dream is still alive. I'll get through the armor. Uh, he's stunned, and the ball goes. I mean, this is your thrower. I'm about to let you throw. <laughs> uh, goes to one, so it lands on Blaze. So Blaze can catch the ball on a five plus. Five plus. Yep. Amazing. No, so the ball deviates again. To four, so it lands there. All right, and my turn. Ah, oh, so end of the turn. Does Wilhelm do something? He does. So he, only thing he can do is block Malibu. Uh, he will take the both down because he's got block. Does he get through the armor? No, he does not. So now it is my turn five. All right, um, I will attempt to activate Ergo to take a walk. It's fine, so he will just move to there. Um, I will stand up Dika, four, five, six. Take a block on Blaze with Oswald. Push. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's go for a glory blitz on uh, on tank with Oliver Ge Gaia. Wow! So go for it. Got it. One dice. Push. I'll push you to there. That's my turn over. Does Wilhelm go off? He does. So he will foul uh, Malibu then. Uh, not enough. Uh, your turn six. So, yeah, it's. I mean, look, it's, it's not happening. Statistically, I have to prevent yeah. you from scoring. Well, I can't. I, I can't score either. But like, I'm just trying to stop. I mean, because you would have to go, you know, dodge to there, dodge to there, dodge to there, get the ball, and you wouldn't have enough move to get into the end zone. <clears throat> so, let's just do it. Do whatever damage you can now. Uh, standing on Malibu does nothing for me, right? All well, I mean, at least it'll keep Will. Wilhelm from continuously fouling me, so let's just start there. Um, tank on Oliver. Yep. One die. Yep. At least push him there, which gives Wilhelm another possible yeah. target. Can't follow, he's got Fend. Oh, fucking Jesus. Forgot about this Fend bullshit. Uh... Wow, Fen really makes these multi-position uh, block throws quite difficult. Actually, sorry, just one. So, sorry, it is it is physically possible to score. You'd have to get um, Blaze to dodge, dodge, and then run all the way down, go for it twice, and then have Viper come in through the side, pick up the ball. No, James, I'm not going <laughs> to try it. That incredibly risky strategy that will require me to make multiple injury rolls. No, I'm just going to try to keep killing your players in a very petty way. Uh, 
So let's see here. I want to end up in such a way that the person blitzing on Deepker provides a boost against Oswald. So if I put Viper here, no, I have to do it the other way around because Rebel only has four movement. Two, three, four. Rebel here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a go for it. So you could go. Um, you could go one. Six, you could go one, two, three, four, and then um, go to there. But that's a go for it. That's, a, that's, a, that's one go for it, yeah. And then you could then do a one die blitz, and if it's successful, you'll then have two dice on Oswald with Blaze. I don't like that. I'm just going to move Rebel up, and I'll blitz down the column with Viper. All right, so you got two dice. So he gets knocked to there, has to be. Roll armor. Not enough. I'm gonna throw one dice with uh. Throw in one die to get yep. out. Yep. Got him. So Got put him, him there, there or there. If I put him on the ball, it'll, it'll just it'll, it'll just scatter. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll just push him back. Okay, you can follow up if you want to. Hmm. I'll pass. Okay. Armor roll. No, no. Is there some way I can foul you? I don't think so. Because I've, I've, I've activated. Yeah. activated with Blaze. That's it. That's my turn. Okay. Does Wilhelm go off? He does. One to three, it's Oliver. Four to six, it's Malibu. It's Oliver. And he goes. Follow up. Oh, that's the wrong person. He's got fend. Uh, he's has fend. Thank you. <laughs> Armor roll. Uh, that's enough. Kill him. Just kill him. Well, um, kill him. He is stunned. All right. My turn. Um, let's go. One, two, three. Um. I am going to declare a pass with Oswald. So three to stand up. Four what to there. Crazy shit are you doing? Just trying to get trying to get some more um pass pass marks. Three plus pick up. He picks it up. He is quick passing to uh Wolf Hoss straight in front of him. Uh so you're passing on a three plus because of uh four plus, thank you, because of uh the sun. Passes, catching it on a three plus. Okay, so that's a completion for uh, Oswald. And then um, Ergo oh, is, is going to foul. So yeah. Bonehead first. Okay, so he's got plus two to, to this roll, plus three if he needs to use Mighty Blow. He can do without Mighty Blow, so it'll be an injury plus one. Oh, still ain't stunned. Um, and that is my turn. Uh, does. Wilhelm go off. He does not. He stands there looking proud. And that is the end of a horrible, horrible game. Um, wow. Yeah, that that was. Uh, I don't. I don't know. If, do you have anything else to say about it? I mean, it was. Um, I knew going in that I would be on the back foot here. That uh, you guys had better. Just not like huge advantage over me but that you definitely had an advantage because of the strength difference and i i don't even think that mattered that much i think wilhelm interrupted at a premium time to allow for a score it yeah was, uh, really cluttered the backfield it uh, did yeah i mean i i i, I made it this rule that knowing what effects can have on the game and yeah it can be uh with players playing so close to the sideline he, his appearance really does but you didn't get a single casualty. The whole the whole point of this round is to see how many casualties can Wilhelm get um, to get himself back on the leaderboard of the um, uh, of of the Iron Skull Cup. Uh, and right now he's plus zero from this game. He's just been a nuisance. Um, what can I say? I tried really hard. I think I'm dropping out of the top half now. Uh, well, I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't think this will this this won't push on the top half because this will put the 
Because you're on uh, league points. You're on six league points, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, the Griffins, well, this will put them on six league points, but they were at a negative already, so they're only going to get plus one from that. So I think that they, this will push them into fifth spot. I'll have to look at it. I don't know for sure. There's already... I'm already tied up with another team, however. Yeah, let's have a look. Okay. So they will have to lose their game for me to... And they've been pretty good. It's the Jarls. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean... I'm going into the last few matches in a really, really bad position. Uh, I've lost some key players along the way. This match was devastating. So uh, let's bring your players back, including ones that are out. Yep, I'm yeah. hitting reset team. Yep, you yeah, need to very well. Yep. Um, all right, and oh, walk gang. Mercenary was uh, useful for only about five seconds. <laughs> Spiff him back as he can't. Uh, his relevance is. Not there. Um, all right. So uh, your winnings are only going to be 25k from this game. So because it's fan factor is seven, so it'll be 35k each, but you had the minus minus 10 from your bad corporate roll. So you got 25k from this game, uh, which means you'll be... still puts me over 100,000, unfortunately. Does it? Okay. So I know because it but doesn't have to buy a bull centaur, but my suggestion would be to maybe just buy like an assistant coach for 20,000. Or take the risk you don't roll a one, basically, because you only lose money if you roll a one. Do you want to save the money, or do you want to just buy an assistant coach to give you... Know you know what, James? Yeah. Let's just not roll a one, because that's my thing tonight, is not rolling ones. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Nope, of course. <laughs> James, I'm capable of viewing the future. Look, you realize that, right? I know what's going to happen before these dice hit the table. <laughs> <laughs> um all right so uh expensive mistakes means that you from your current amount of money you're going to lose a little bit um it's going to be your play your players get so drunk that they spend your money mm -hmm. um yeah the math expensive mistakes uh roll a d3 Your players spend twenty thousand dollars, twenty thousand copper partying. So, so I gained five thousand. You gained five thousand, sure. Yeah. And I didn't get an assistant coach out of it. Oh, uh, no, that's right. I had a sixteen percent chance, but I knew before that die even went in the air <laughs> what it was going to be. Um. All right. Uh. Let's roll to see if Tank uh gets drafted. Great. What do I need? A one. Oh, not anything but a one. No, you're fine. He doesn't leave. All right, uh, I will go across. So Gunther Joss, does he get recruited the way? He does. Uh, does the thrower get recruited the way? He does not. All right, AP, you now have a new playbook move, which means that when you pick a player, you can roll the skill twice and pick a skill. So which player do you want to give a skill to? Uh... Rebel? Great question. Yeah, probably rebel. All right, strength or general? Let's take a look here. I'd love to have kick again. That's a general skill. Yeah, I don't see. I mean, mighty if, blow would be great as well. If, you, if, you, if you're trying to get kick, I'd I consider going for a general skill on a hobgoblin. Otherwise, you're putting a chaos dwarf back back behind the line to kick, which gives you like if that's if you if you kicks what you're going for, I'd be looking at doing an hop problem. Sure, let's do storm general. Okay, all right. So d6 followed by d6 for the first skill option. So two, then six. So that would be either uh, kick or <laughs> do two d6s again. One and two, so either kick or dauntless. Oh, uh, Jesus, dauntless would actually be good, but I will take kick because yeah. forcing you to forcing well, the only people I'm facing are you, so forcing you to start further back is always going to be a better move for me, especially with passing teams coming up. I'm going to give the ogre a skill. No one's giving big guy skills yet. Give a big guy skill. He can take only strength. So he will get a skill of um 
Mighty Blow, thanks to the Mighty Blow plus two. Well, that's deeply frightening. You would have to face him again. Um, face him in the playoffs. <laughs> you could. I. I don't. Um, yeah. I think. I think. If if they if, if you don't if they if you get in the playoffs they're not getting in the playoffs or vice versa I think would probably be the most likely outcome but well, I don't know I have to work out how the league table looks. Um. All right. So you though XP wise because you also did two casualties so you'll be picking up three player XP which I don't think will be enough to get you to your next skill. I don't know what I have though. I think I might be at seventeen. Uh. I so I had you but before this game at a total of fourteen. Okay, so, um, so I'm at 17. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and and so we you need you need one more one more to get your next upgrade, which we'll get just for playing as the Wood Elves. Um, is there anything else I've missed? Let me just check my notes. Uh, so we've done outcome winnings. Uh, dedicated fans. So roll a dice and don't roll a one. Even though I lost. Uh, yeah, you lost because your dedicated fans can go down <laughs> if you roll a one. <laughs> so you're fine. Okay, uh, their, their, their fans go up. Yes, they do. So they get plus one fan factor. Um, right, then we've got uh, player advance for hiring, foreign, retiring. So some mistakes. Yep, everything is done. Um, Arthur, thank you for, for joining me once again. Two games to go. I'm sure the Woodoff game will be a, a, an easy game for you to, to smash your way through. Um, I feel like I'm just going to get outthrown. But you get, I, I will tell you now. I want to. I want to start killing players left and right for sure. I want to start throwing injuries. You will definitely yeah. have enough funds for some, some significant um, inducements. So I would say one to two mercenaries, no doubt about that at all. Um, okay. You could you could bring a bona fide big guy in and bring in like your own um, your own troll or something like that if you wanted to. If you if it's all about. Did I lose on. somebody this match? Uh, yeah, you had. So you've got um, one player's miss next game. It is number three. This makes next game. Gemini? Gemini, yeah. Great, awesome. So uh, that only leaves me with seven players once again. Well, well, well. Well, 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 James. This fucking incredibly expensive reroll has not paid off at all. Um... Yeah, I don't know. The, I mean, look, re, I, everyone says reroll is the most powerful thing in um, in sevens if you can do it. Um, but I guess, um, look, I mean, it's obviously this is a bit different from regular sevens because we've got the extra rules around the playbook. Um, I've certainly noticed from the round so far that some playbook options are much more powerful than others. Like Spoon from the very start took the one to give him a bonus to get a sponsor, but it's never got him anywhere close getting a sponsor. Whereas Lawson took the ability to choose the skill his players get, which is um, yeah significantly more powerful. So I think that my learning from this would be that um, if I'm going to play with the playbooks, I might have sort of like a signature move. I think I think there's something they have in Power by the Apocalypse game sometimes where there's like a capstone move for a playbook rather than just making them all equal at the start. I don't know how did you, how did you do it in Slayer of Knights for again? Was there they had a they had a starting move that was available. Yeah. And then I think you picked a second move. Yeah. And then you had to alternate between uh you like got a move on the third level up. Or the sorry, you could you didn't get a new move on the first level up and you had to get a stat or something. Oh, okay. Maybe. So you had to go back. Okay. No worries. Yeah. So yeah. you couldn't just choose whatever you wanted all the time. You couldn't and just keep doing once moves. You had enough XP, you had to choose a new playbook and you would keep uh your old moves and then you'd get the new move of the new playbook yeah okay their special move yeah i'll have a play with it once we're done with this i mean like, obviously i don't want to change things up part way through the season you've got two games to go yeah um, others have three i think that... i'll be honest i feel like the stats and the extra rolls at the end yeah i feel like you could do away with that and it would make things both faster and have little to no difference on the game okay uh, I, I, Honestly, I mean, though, yeah, I might just be biased because again, those roles have consistently screwed me over. Uh, you know, like being able to buy multiple people at the end of the game, not really a big deal. Ha getting considerably less money every time for having a minus one in corporate, devastating, absolutely yeah. devastating. Um, yeah, I um, I mean, I put them in there because 
that's part of Power by the Apocalypse. I figured I needed to put in, you know, skill roles of some type and needed to give them some relevance I, otherwise. But um, maybe, maybe yeah, not. I honestly don't think that they were needed. Yeah. All right. It's uh, a, it's but a... that's just me. I'm sure the other players have some different. Yeah. Uh... It's a deeper conversation to have at a later point. But, uh... Of course. Yeah, like a, some sort of post game. Yeah. All of us get together. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I would love to do get the four players together to do a four way death bowl right Thank at the end, right at the I'll, end. I'll, pass. I'll, <laughs> I'll get together to talk, not a death bowl. Okay. No worries. Uh, uh... Yeah, you would, and you be aware, like of course, that. that my mood is quite low after being fucking wrecked at this game. <laughs> and then, in the hour of my defeat, rolling a one again on uh, uh, financial disasters. Not yeah. great. Yeah. Not great. Um, take take any of my post-game advice with the knowledge that it has been salted with my fury. <laughs> uh all right no all right thank you for playing everybody thank you for watching we'll be back more this week with some more blah blah action and this week if you want to see some more stuff uh i'll be appearing on ap game reels channel this week for generic fantasy adventure on sunday at 7 p.m eastern is that correct arthur mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so um but uh yeah check out check out others arthur's other content uh he is much less salty no, that's not true. He's about equally no. salty on, on his other content as well. But, uh... Don't lie to the people. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much and take care.